Hi guys, I hope that you and your families are staying healthy and safe. Um, and I also know that right now it's a little bit tough to stay motivated, especially with, you know, schoolwork and that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys are finding outlets to have fun um, and just stay motivated. Um, so today we are going to be doing a zodiac sign calculator um, using Python. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is if you have idle installed on your computer, then you're going to want to pull that up and open your new file, which is right here. Um, if you do not have idle, you can go to a website called replit, replit.com, and that should work the same. So you just click in the settings, you can go Python, and then it'll pop up like a screen where you can do the same thing that we're doing here on idle. So the first thing that we want to do um, in our code is we want to write our header. So we can just write our name and then the date. And then we can say the title of our code. So we can say Zodiac Sign Calculator. Okay, so a header is important because, you know, you're going to look back at this code and maybe you don't know what it does. So then if you have, like, the name of it and when you did it, that might just, like, help you remember or help you know what this code is about. So the first thing we want to ask our user is what the their birthday is. So we need to get the month and the day. We don't really need the year for this. So we can say month. So we're going to make this a variable. So we can say month is equal to the input that the user gives us. So this is a keyword, which is why it's in purple. Um, and then we can say what month were you born? Question mark. I like to add like two spaces just so when they input their data it's kind of just looks nicer um, and then we can go month dot lower and this is just gonna make it so that um, the month when they input it it's always gonna be lowercase and then we can say day is equal to we're gonna make this an integer so we have to put int first and then we can put input and then inside of here we can say what day were you born So one of the things that sometimes people mess up on is they forget the integer. Um, if you only have input and then they input something, the computer is not going to take it as a number. They're going to take it as a string, which is not what we want. We don't want it to be just normal text. We want it to be a number. So always remember to put integer. Um, and if you just want text, you don't have to put integer there. And then we, we want to make a list of the months. So we can say months. And then we can make a list of those because we're going to want to make sure when the user inputs a month, we want to make sure that month actually exists or that they maybe they spelled it wrong. So we want to make sure that they spelled it right and that they're actually giving us a month that exists. Um, so we can say like March, um, April. It doesn't matter what order you put them in. I don't know why, why I started with March, but March, April, May. June, July, September, ah, my spelling, August, November, October, my spelling is so bad, okay, October, November, oh, we already have November, December, January, I think I got all of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Which one did I forget? Uh, February. Okay, so we want to make sure that all of these are going to be in lowercase because that is what we want. That is what the user is going to give us. They're going to give us a lowercase month. So first we want to make sure that the month that they give us is in this array of months. 
So we can say, we can make an if statement. So if statements are kind of like, um, if this is true, then you can proceed with the code. So we can say if month, so if the month that they give us, that they were born in, is in months, then we can proceed. So make sure you put a colon. So let's just start with March. So if their month is equal to equal to March, oops, March, then their sign is going to be equal to Pisces. I always misspell Pisces. Um, and if the day is, so if the day, oops, this has to be inside here. If the day is less than 21, and then else they are in Aries. So if you guys don't know the actual like dates from which a zodiac sign is, so like, um, you know, so Pisces would be before the 21st of March, then they would be a Pisces, and then after the 21st of March, they would be an Aries. So you can just look that up if you want, so you can like kind of understand where this is coming from. You can just search up like zodiac sign dates. Um, so then we can move on to the next one. So for our if state, this is an if statement, right? So the, the code is going to go straight to that if statement. It's going to check it. And if that one is not true, then it's going to, going to the next statement, which is going to be an elif statement. So, yeah. Um, some other co coding languages have it as else if, but this one's just elif. Sometimes I mess that up because I do code in different languages, so sometimes it's a bit tricky. So we can say elif month is equal to April. Also, you guys don't have to use double quotes. You can use single quotes. I just prefer double quotes. Don't forget your colon, and then we can say sign is equal to Aries. If the day is less than the 20th, else they are going to be a Taurus. Okay, and then we're going to keep making these elif statements until we get to um, back to Pisces, so we're going to want to say elif um, month is equal to equal to May Their sign is going to be equal to a Taurus My best friend Kelsey is actually a Taurus um, she's the best. So, day is less than the 21st. Else, they're going to be a Gemini. One of my best friends is also a Gemini. Um, yeah. Okay. So, elif month um, is equal to, equal to, and these two equal signs. So, let's say there's one equal sign like up here, right here, where there's months, where we made our variables, that means that we're assigning a value to these variables. But right here, where we have two, um, where we have a double equal sign, that means that we're actually trying to compare the values to see if um, it is true, right? So you can say June. So if they put in that their month is June, then their sign could be a Gemini. If the day is less than um, 21, or else they are a Cancer. So then we can move on to month is equal to July. Make sure you are putting all the months in lowercase um, just because that's what we're using for the months instead of uppercase. So then um, their sign would be Cancer.
um, if the day is less than the 23rd. So you can see that all of these days right here are usually around like 20, 23. Um, some of them are going to be 19. Else, it is a Leo. Okay, so we can say Elif, the month is equal to August. My typing is getting so bad. Um, then they are going to be a Leo. If the day is less than 23, or else they are going to be a Virgo. One of my best friends is also a Virgo. Um, Elif month is equal to equal to um, September. Then we're going to say that their sign would be a Virgo. So this is pretty repetitive. Um, sometimes this happens in our code where it is going to be a little bit repetitive. That's okay because it will pay off when we're done. So this is going to be if the day is less than 23 or else they are going to be a Libra. Don't forget your quotes. I always forget quotes until, there we go. So this else statement um, is basically saying if this is true, then the sign is most likely a Pisces, but we also have to check the day. So we have to say if the day is less than 21, then their sign would be Pisces. So that's kind of like guaranteeing that it is a Pisces. But if the day is not less than 21, so if it's greater than 21, they would be an Aries. So that's kind of what the else statement is. Um, so we can say Elif, their month is October. Uh, equal to equal to October. Then their sign is going to be equal to... Um, Libra, um, and if the day is less than 23, it's the 23rd of October, which after that, then they're going to be a Scorpio. I am actually a Scorpio, so um, that's fun. So Elif, their month is equal to um, November. And also, this colon is really important because if you forget it, when you enter, it'll just go straight back to this line. But if you put the colon, it'll automatically indent for you. So that's kind of like a way to check yourself and see if you're making any mistakes here. Because if it doesn't indent, then that means you um, made a mistake somewhere. You probably forgot your colon. Um, so for this one, if, if it's the 22nd. So if the day is less than the 22nd, then they will be a Scorpio, or else they will be a Sagittarius. Okay, we're almost there. So if their month, Elif, their month um, is equal to December, then um, they would be a Sagittarius, so sign is equal to Sagittarius. And you're probably seeing the pattern. Every like finishing sign usually is the starting sign. Well, yeah, there will always be the starting sign. So if the day is less than the 22nd, else they will be a Capricorn. Capricorns are a lot of fun. My mom is actually a Capricorn. Um, so Elif, the month 
is in January. Oop, and again, make sure lowercase, January. Um, then they will be a Capricorn. And then if the day um, is less than 20, they'll be Capricorn or else they will be in Aquarius. Valeria is an Aquarius. Um, and my dad is also an Aquarius, so we have two Aquariuses in our family. So Elif, so this is going to be our last one because then we're going to kind of circle around to Pisces, which is what we started with. So Elif, their month um, is equal to um, February. Then this sign is going to be equal to Aquarius. And then if the day, don't forget your bracket there. So if the day is less than 19 um, or else, they're going to be a Pisces. Okay, there we go. So now that we have all our zodiac signs here, we have all the days um, for the zodiac signs, then we're going to actually want to check if... Um, which which zodiac the person's birthday is in, right? So we could put our print statement inside here and say your zodiac sign is, and then put a space because just to space everything out, and then we can say plus the sign. Because what will happen is, let's say my birthday is November 3rd, which it is, it would go all the way down to here until it says that, you know, November 3rd, so that's going to be a Scorpio, right? So it's going to print it here. But our condition for this if statement is that if the month is in months, and the month is always going to be in the month, right? So it's just going to keep printing out this, like, infinitely. So we want to make sure this is outside of here so that it'll actually work. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to save your file. So I'm going to save it as um, code equal zodiac calc. Okay, so we're going to want to save that and then we can run it to see if we have any mistakes here. So which month were you born in? I could say November. Um, what day were you born in? I'm going to say third. Your zodiac sign is Scorpio. So that is how it works. Um, if you have any questions, you can email us. But this is a pretty straightforward code. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it.